So you've decided that you need to replace the suspension bearing. Let's see how that's done with Alt Alt's quality, bare bones, inexpensive suspension bearing press kit. The Alt Alt bearing press does the same job as other bearing presses, but since it's designed from the ground up to be less expensive, it works a little bit differently. Our kit is made of simple parts which can be used together to remove and install many different size suspension bearings. So here's the kit. To do the squeezing is a simple screw and a nut. These parts are called pilots. They fit inside of the bearing and their purpose is to center the tool onto the bearing. These are called drifts. They do all of the pushing, whether they're pushing against the frame or pushing against the bearing. These parts are called sleeves and on bearing removal, the sleeve fits up against the frame and leaves a cavity for the bearing to be pressed into. Sleeves work in conjunction with the step. The step centers the sleeve on the tool. And that's the kit. Of course, we also have some diagrams to help you follow along. There's a few things that you should do before you start. Firstly, go to your manufacturer's website and download the instruction manual for your specific bike. There you'll find information about what size, type, and quantity of bearings are required for the job. They'll also mention what type of grease to use to install the bearing. And for reassembling the bike, they're gonna make recommendations about the use of thread lock and definitely torque settings required. So always follow your manufacturer's instructions. Secondly, you're gonna to have to disassemble your bike to get to the suspension bearings. If you can handle dealing with hydraulic brake lines and internally routed derailleur cables, then you're not gonna have any problems replacing a suspension bearing. Once you get the frame component off, take a look at the environment that that bearing survives in. Here's some video that I took the first time that I shot this, some 20 takes ago. Here's a bit of a closer look. Now the bearing tool presses up against the frame. So remove any grit that you have around this area. To do that, use a wet cloth, maybe with a little bit of soap and just wipe away that area. To replace the bearings, you need the Alt Alt suspension bearing press kit, which comes with the removal and installation diagrams. We also have those diagrams as well as full instruction PDFs available on our website. You're going to need some replacement bearings. You're going to need some grease, some isopropyl alcohol or degreaser, some shop towels. And then for tools, you're going to need a wrench, a six millimeter hex key, and maybe some toothpicks. Let's look at how to remove a bearing. A bearing press works by holding the tool up against the front of the frame while pushing the bearing out from behind. The tool needs a flat surface on the frame to press up against. If you don't have a flat surface like this and your frame has some kind of an angle to it, you're going to have to use something like this, a bearing puller. A bearing puller works by inserting these jaws into your bearing, widening the jaws, clamping down the frame, and then hammering out the bearing. It's a bit of a violent process, and that's why people like the smooth action of a bearing press. The first step in using the tool is to grease the screw so that the nut doesn't bind. To do this, just add some grease and spread it around. That way when you start squeezing, it's going to be nice and smooth. Next is to grab a drift that is going to press out the bearing from the back side of the frame. This drift needs to sit 
up against the bearing inside of the frame. So choose a drift that is the appropriate size. So take that drift and put it onto the screw. Next, we need to choose a pilot that will center the tool on the bearing. Now, if your bearing is so small that even the smallest pilot doesn't fit inside, don't use a pilot. This bearing will fit onto the screw nicely. This works great for eight and nine millimeter bearings. So for our bearing, choose the largest pilot that will fit inside the bearing. That's this one. So take this pilot and also put it on the screw. There. Next, we need to choose a sleeve to press up against the front side of the frame. That sleeve needs to be large enough to clear the bearing as it gets pushed out and small enough to catch the frame. So to choose the right size sleeve, choose the smallest sleeve that the bearing will fit into. So that's this one. In conjunction with the sleeve, we need to center it using a step. This is too loose of a fit for the step, so flip the step over and that's a nice tight fit. That's the combination that we're going to use. Now we're going to remove the bearing using the tool. Grab the screw with the parts on it and insert it into the back side of the frame. This is going to push out the bearing. Grab your sleeve and your step and put it on the front side of the frame and then install your nut. Now, as you can see, this tool is assembled on the frame nice and straight. This bearing is going to get pushed out of the frame without damaging the frame. Now, a word of warning. If your bearing was put into your frame by the manufacturer using little or no grease at all, when you tighten this tool and the bearing starts to come out, there may be a cracking sound. So be conscious of that. So grab your wrench and your hex key and start turning. Right now. You can hear a cracking sound, but that's normal. That's just the bearing coming out of the frame. There. There's a bearing removed from the frame. Before you go and install your new bearing into your frame, you should probably make sure that the seat is nice and clean. A bearing just came out of it, so it should be pretty clean, but if you got any gunk or grit in there, it's gonna get trapped between the bearing and it's gonna mess up your paint in there and not cause the bearing to sit very well. So you'll wanna get in there and just kinda of wipe it out. If it's particularly gunky, you can get in there with some isopropyl alcohol or some degreaser and clean that out. If there's some crud in there, you can get in there with a toothpick and get right into the corner without scratching your paint. So now that that's nice and clean, you can get ready to put your bearing in. A bearing press installs a bearing by holding on to the back of the frame and pressing the bearing in through the front so that you don't damage your new bearing or your frame during this process there's two things to keep in mind the first thing is that this bearing must go into the frame perfectly straight a crooked install will damage the seat beyond repair nobody wants to buy new frame components in 2021 
The second thing to consider is where on the bearing you press to push it into the seat. See, the bearing fits into the seat with what's called an interference fit. This means that the inner diameter of the frame is actually smaller than the outer diameter of the bearing. So it's going to take force to press in the bearing. Now, the bearing itself is made of a bunch of moving parts. So it is important when installing a bearing, you press the outer ring into the seat. If you press on the inner ring, the force is going to travel from the inner ring to the balls to the outer ring. And that force is going to damage the inner ring and the outer ring. You will be able to get the bearing into the seat, but the damage that you cause to the bearing is going to make the bearing wear out a lot faster. So it's important that when you install a bearing, you apply force to this thin outer ring. Because it's so thin, you need an accurate tool to do that. So these are the two things to consider when installing bearings. And this is why a DIY solution isn't as easy as you think it might be. Before you install the bearing, a quick note about cartridge bearings. This is a radial bearing. It is symmetrical and it has the same color seal on both sides. It doesn't matter which way it's installed in the bike. There's another kind of bearing which is called an angular contact bearing. It's not symmetrical and it has a red seal and a black seal. The bearing needs to be installed in the bike in a particular orientation, which is usually red seal out, black seal in. But if you have those kinds of bearing, check your owner's manual and make sure that you get the orientation right. We're going to continue this video using a radial bearing. So now it's time to choose the tool parts to install the bearing. First, you've got your screw, which make sure it's still got grease on it. Next is to choose a drift to press up against the back side of the frame. This drift needs to be large enough to cover the hole in the back of the frame by a couple of millimeters. It also needs to sit nice and flat up against the frame. So once you have that drift, put that on your screw and then you need one more drift. This is the drift that needs to be the exact diameter as your bearing. That way we don't cause any damage to the bearing on install. The next step is to grease the bearing. So check your owner's manual, see if there's any special kind of grease. Just give the bearing a quick little layer. And then what the heck while we're at it, get it in the seat too. Any excess is just going to be wiped off later. So don't be shy. Okay, once that's all greased up, the next step is to assemble the tool. You can take a quick peek at your diagram. So this is the larger drift and it fits against the back side of the frame. Then we're going to need to grab the pilot, same pilot as before. It's the largest pilot that fits into the bearing. That goes on the front side of the frame. And then this is the drift that is the exact same diameter as the bearing. Just tighten that up. Now, before you start tightening, make sure that the tool is nice and square onto the frame. This way we won't damage the frame when we install the bearing. So once it's all straight, grab your wrench and your hex and start turning. 
Stop when you feel the tool go solid. That's the feeling of the bearing hitting the bottom of the seat. To check that it's at the bottom of the seat, undo the tool and have a look. Take a look here in the corner where the frame meets the bearing. There should be no gap. Wipe off any excess grease. And there, your bearing is installed in the frame. So that's this bearing replaced. Now replace any other bearings that need replacing and put that back on the bike and get riding. All thanks to the Alt-Alt quality, bare bones, inexpensive suspension bearing press kit. Available on our website.